Welcome. In front of me is a Vivo V21 and today I'll show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time, you should see this screen right over here and to get started simply select your desired language which for me it's already selected the one that I want to use but as you can see you have the list of basically all different languages so select one that you want. From there next page you can choose your region I'm not going to be bothering with setting it up correctly I don't think it has actually any effect then we have user agreement obviously you need to agree to it you can read it if you want then we have privacy terms again we need to agree to those then we have warranty terms again we need to agree to those as well and just a flawless experience right here with three different things you need to agree to before you can actually continue setting up your device instead of compounding it into i don't know maybe one i agree to all but anyway uh, we have next the sending of uh, diagnostic information now this is one of the things that you don't need to agree to and honestly um, I probably wouldn't select this it just basically gathers data on how you use the device and sends it to Google uh, or Vivo uh, I'm not exactly sure which one so I'm just gonna go to the next page which brings me to Wi-Fi connection now you can set up your device offline if you want to or you can connect to Wi-Fi uh, additionally if you can't connect but you do want to have some kind of network uh, you can also insert a SIM card and use mobile data and uh, uh, the difference of connecting to some network throughout the process, the setup process or not, is basically you will lose the ability to log into your Google account throughout the setup only. After you finish up the setup, you can basically sign into either like some Wi-Fi or mobile data and then go to accounts and add a Google account. So there is really no problem there. And additionally, throughout the setup process, uh, date and time won't be set automatically, so you'll see a page. There we go, like this one, where you need to fix it up if it's incorrect. Additionally, if you are planning to connect in the future to network, but just not right now, you don't actually have to set it up correctly. You can just disregard it, and the moment you connect to it, it will be set automatically, so you don't have to worry about it. On the next page, we have Google services. So we have services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. So it looks like the first one that we've seen the diagnostic data uh, thingy thing was from Vivo. So this uh, this now is also for Google. So another one that wants to spy on you, gather data on you and send, send it to themselves. So yeah, no thanks. I mean, I don't even know if disabling this has any effect to be perfectly honest. It's Google, so yeah. So anyway, uh, additionally you have things like scanning and location, which basically is just the uh, ability for the device to scan for, uh, for different signals and uh, also have location enabled. So if you want those, keep them on if you don't, uh, turn them off. Although by turning them off, you will need to probably enable them later on anyway if you want to use some of the things like Wi-Fi or as an example, Google Maps uh, with the location. So anyway, I'm gonna go to the next page, which brings me to protections uh, for the device. So we have screen lock, fingerprint, and face recognition. Now under screen lock, we have three different options, pattern, pen, password, and then we have the fingerprint and face recognition. Now, if you want to use one of those or both of those, you are gonna be always required to set up some kind of screen lock. So if there is something that's gonna happen to uh, one or both of those methods like your finger or your face you still have a physical way of unlocking the device then we have keep your system up date uh, i'm gonna update manually so that's what i'm gonna stick with and then we have congrats basically we finished up the setup so I'll select start and there is your home screen so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching